Okay, we we are very happy to to have uh, good talents in 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 the, our squad and coming from the academy that uh, have been training with us now for a while, and and we are also getting other players that uh, that is improving and that is training with us. But but for the for the players that has played for the first team this year, most of them of the young players, they are in our squad. They are competing at the same le level and standards and expectations uh, than the others. Um, I, I don't look too much about how old they are or, or uh, how young they are. I look more about what they can do. Uh, and for sure, it's good to have experience. But experience is not everything. Uh, and uh, some, some can gain experience very quickly and others a little bit slower. And, and football is, is always a process. Uh, there is different types of development throughout the years. And for some kids, they can go like this. And then there will be a time when it goes a little bit like this. And then before it goes up again. And, and this is normal. But uh, in terms of how we train and how we work and what we would like them to do to achieve and to improve the, as, as a player, it's more constant. This is everyday work to improve, to be the best you can be. And, and then... Uh, we, we will decide who's going to play or not, but uh, it's what you do in the training, is is your improvement, your development is going to decide who's going to play or not. Uh, to be honest, I don't pick the team. <laughs> I don't. The players they pick the team themselves. because During the week? During the week. During what, the week. That's what, I, what we see in the yes. training. So, so they cannot say, I don't. I, they, they decide themselves in what they're doing in training. So, so, so they have to excel every single day, every single minute during the training sessions. No, but okay, we have different types of training. We have yes, some, know, some trainings where we do this and other trainings where we do that. So, but for sure, okay, I I decide the, the team. But in a, in a wider sense, and really, is they who decide because we watch the training, we work with them, and then we see. What is going it's, to be the best it's, thing? It's not as simple as that because uh, you need to you study your opponent, so you need uh, to decide in your tactical, uh, you know, how tactically you want to play in in that match. So, uh, oh, it, this is correct. Okay, sometimes <laughs> you have the opposition who will maybe decide a little bit which player you will use, but not too many times. The most important thing for us is how we. Are and what we I, do I don't want to get into details, but when uh, when uh, I, uh, I hear about the starting eleven, because I study the opponent, <laughs> I understand why some people are playing and some others are not uh, are not in the starting eleven, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, okay. I know I know you by now. To be in in some in a sense, I know how you're thinking, and and I understand that some people are asking me, "What do you think would be a starting eleven? And and I don't want to say, but I I because it's me. It's not uh, uh, I'm not a normal football supporter, as you know. So I I know if if the opponent's uh, likely starting eleven is going to be like this, I'm trying to get into your head and say, okay. He will start with this, this, and and, and that, and uh... Uh, we don't change that that much, to be honest. Uh, maybe we should do start to do. Uh, <laughs> last year we were quite consistent in the team selections uh, because we were early in the project. We needed to learn more how to play as a team, and to be fair, the competition last year was not as good as it is now. Now we have a bigger competition. We have a wider squad, and more players are ready to play than they were last year. Now also we have two games every week which you need to, to have change. the rotation. You have more rotation yeah, and yeah. you need to, to change. And then is more which plays to use for which games. This comes much, much more into it now than what it did last year. Okay, but last year you had to one game yes. every week. So it was different. It was different. So the, now this year, you know, the... Uh, the physical uh, training part is different because you play two matches a week uh, and and uh, we have the travels, difficult travels, the logistics. People don't understand the logistics. You had so many uh, COVID-19 tests. 
<laughs> and and uh, it's good to test. It's good to test, and I'm so happy that we do a lot of tests because we played in Europe now. I am more surprised that other teams in Cyprus in the top league don't test as often as the protocols say they should do. And I'm very surprised that they don't do because when we play teams in Cyprus and they are not tested, we don't really know. Uh, we know that we are be okay because. If we have a case, we will find out because we are tested so often. Yes. And we had the situation now with two other teams that suddenly they had so many players infected. And if they had tested more often, I am sure they would have found that yes, before. Yes, because, because uh, this virus, uh, to be honest with you, you need to do a lot of testing because you test negative now. Uh, tomorrow, maybe you're not negative. So, but uh, the thing is, is where do you stop? It's, 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 it's a very difficult part uh, uh, of the for for any club is is uh... I think for us it's been easier now because we are tested before every European match and then we are also tested when we fly back when we come back into the country so we have done so many tests but it's good um, the problem is like I think the protocol says that all the teams has to be tested before they play the league matches but they don't do and and for me this is a surprise uh, if we don't have the <laughs> testers for financial reasons okay uh, it's not good but then at least then there is a financial reasons for it i don't think it is i think they have the test available and i think everybody should be tested two days be or the day before they play the match to know that everybody is okay for it this and then you at least you can uh, minimize it uh, more than than what we believe. Yes, and, and I I believe so too because um, and the federation I know they are looking at it. They need to look into it more closely because if we have a spread in other clubs as well, then uh, yeah, there are so many uh, um, days in a week. <laughs> so how is the championship going to finish? I know, uh, I know it's a big and, problem. Yes, now they cannot cancel too many more matches, but then you end up with some teams playing with team that is nowhere near the quality. Like you had Salamina now and Etnikos, they, they have so many new players in their teams. So for sure, the opposition would not have the same opponent to play against, you know, and is that fair for the competition? Would it not be better to make sure that we test a little bit more often, that everybody should have a test two days before the match or the day before the match, to make sure you can at least take away and you, you can stop if there is something going on. You don't have 20 players, maybe you have two or three. And that is a big, big difference. Yes, uh, I, I fully agree with you. Uh, Henning, um, it's been... Uh, you finished? Uh, well, we can... <laughs> between you and me, we can talk until uh, late at night, but you have to go to... You, you can talk to late at night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you, you are competing really well okay. with me because okay. you, are a, you, are a, you are a good competitor. <laughs> Uh, I, I know you have to go to the training session, <laughs> and uh, and uh, I would really like to thank you. I just uh, felt this this uh, channel, this internet channel, is um, uh, to give exposure to different sports apart from uh, football, and also uh, to um, uh, for people to get to know really closely a high performance athletes uh, which I consider you have been <laughs> uh, and 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 learn more about uh, the insights of of the sports and uh, really I know your tight schedule and I would like to really thank you uh, again about uh, having this discussion this podcast uh, with you thank you for inviting me and uh, it's, it's, it's good to talk for sure, there are many things I cannot say with a little bit of confidentiality how we work and everything like this. But uh, no, it's been good to talk to you. And uh, yes, I think we haven't said anything that is not known <laughs> apart from the process uh, when you were really hired for ammonia. <laughs> but uh, uh, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. As a Zaris, after the clip, can it subscribe to YouTube and a paracolutis the Lock Period episode?